Hello. Today we are going to discuss about the reference management. What is reference management? If you look at any published paper or a thesis, at the end of the paper, you have got a section called reference section. And this is how a typical reference section looks like. There are several sources that you have cited in your paper and that becomes a reference section. Now, why should one cite different sources in one's paper? When you write a paper or when you write a thesis, why should you write or why should you cite different papers or published work? So, the references basically serve three purposes. One is to give credit to the previous workers. So whenever you write introduction, when you write what is known in the given field, then you cite certain references. Such and such person has done this work. This author has uh, done this work and so on. So then you cite the references. Second purpose of references is to add credibility to your work. You, the third purpose is to give reading material to the readers. Because if a person is interested in your work, when he or she reads your work, then you are providing him or her with lot of reading material because you have cited several papers in your reference section. So these are certain basic purposes of citing different sources in your paper. Now there are some other utilities of references, right? Especially assess an author's productivity or contribution to the science or to assess the contribution of a journal to the scientific field. We use references or citations. So citations received by a, a particular author in different years for his published work will be a good parameter to assess the quality of his or her papers that have been published because your papers are likely to be cited only when people who read them find it interesting. If your work is interesting then only your work is read and then only your work is cited. So more number of citations you receive means people are finding your work interesting. That is why they are citing you. Now even the most commonly used parameter of assessing the uh, journal quality is called impact factor and this is also based on the citations. Similarly there are several other metrics like site score. Site score is also similar metric but it estimates the citations received for the published articles in a journal during past three years instead of two years. And another difference is that uh, site score is uh, calculated based on the citations received on Scopus, not Web of Science. So there are several other measures as well. One of them is H index. H index is the largest number H such that H publications have at least H citations. This could be for an author, this could be for a journal, both it could be there. So for an author, for example, this is a graph of a particular author and uh, his H index is 10. What does it mean? When you calculate H index, when you need to calculate H index of a given author, what you need to do is you need to rearrange all his publications in the descending order of number of citations. Suppose he has published 9 papers in this example. You arrange all these nine papers in a descending order as per the number of citations. So the paper that has received the maximum number of citations will be at the top and the, num the paper that has received the minimum number of citations is at the bottom. Now you go on looking at one by one from the top to bottom. So, so the, the first paper has received 43 citations, 43 is more than one, right? Second paper has received 32 citations and 32 is more than 2. Now coming to seventh paper. 
Seventh paper has received only five citations, which is not even equivalent to seven, neither more than seven. Hence, in this example, the H index of this particular author is six because each of the first six papers have received at least six citations, but seventh has not received seven citations. Hence, the H index of this author is six. This is how you can calculate the H index of an author. Now, coming to the citation styles, different journals follow different styles of citation. For instance, there is MLA style, Modern Language Association style, AMA style, American Medical Association, APA style, American Psychological Association, Chicago Manual style, Vancouver style, and there are several other styles which are followed by different journals of different streams. Now, there are fundamentally two types of referencing patterns. One is parenthetical system and another one is notional system. In notional systems, system you uh, use the numerical order to indicate the number, I mean different citations. Whereas in parenthetical system, you use author and year or author and date. This is the format which is used in parenthetical system. Basically, whenever you cite a paper, you cite it twice. Once in the text, main text, in text citation and second is in the reference section. And there has to be corresponding match between the in text citation and the citation in the reference section. This is one example where the number is written in square brackets. This is another example where the number is written in square brackets but the number as well as square brackets in superscript format. This is another year where another pattern where the author and year are named in simple brackets. This is another pattern where the numbers are mentioned in simple brackets. Now coming to bibliography reference section. In this case for example surname comma initials full stop then year dot title dot then journal abbreviation in italics then volume and so on. This is another style where you have got serial numbers in square brackets then you write initials then put a dot and then surname then again a dot or a comma and then you add title in inverted commas and full journal name you write in italics. So this is a third third pattern where you write the numbers without brackets and uh, surname and initials without any full stops or commas and then again the uh, name of the title of the paper and again the abbreviation of the journal. So the problem is obvious. Too many journals are there and many journal, each journal rather follows a different style and too many differences are there between different styles. Sometimes you, you have to use a full stop after the surname, sometimes you should not use a full stop, sometimes you use journal abbreviation whereas sometimes you use the full title of the journal, sometimes you use year immediately after the author, sometimes you write the year at the end and so on. There are several differences and it is very difficult to remember the details of each referencing style and this needs lot of typing and there are chances of lot of mistakes being committed. And when a journal rejects a paper, you need to change the citation style before submitting it to another journal. This is another problem. So now we know the problems and now how to overcome this and how to deal with this problem. When you have only a few references, maybe 10 or 15 references, what I recommend is better you copy the references wherever they are available in the standard format. For example, if you are using PubMed, the PubMed Central gives you an option to go for citation and there are four citation styles which are already given. You just right click, copy it and paste it under the reference section. This is the easiest thing to do. But this is possible only when 
you have got a limited number of references maybe 10 or 15 or 20 but when it comes to comes to thesis or maybe a review article or a systematic review where you have to deal with more than hundreds of references right in such cases what you need to do the best thing to do is go for to go for a reference manager or reference management tool or a reference management software uh, yes even microsoft word gives you some option of adding references but again it is cumbersome because you need to type the author name title of the paper journal name and other things you need to type everything and then you need to add it to the uh, references section and then you can use it but again this is a cumbersome process so what i would suggest you to do is to use the reference management software and today we are going to learn how to use one of those reference management softwares that is mendeley there are many many reference management tools or softwares available in the in the in the on the web and uh, many of them are free of cost but many of them are subscription based and you need to pay money to use them so these are the tools that help scholars to create and manage their lists of references for research projects or theses or publications and most of these tools are des designed to organize citations into specific formats for the preparation of manuscripts and bibliographies many search tools provide ways to download references into reference management tools now what is mendeley it is a free academic software cross platform software because it can be used over windows or mac or linux any other plat platforms and it supports all the major browsers maybe google chrome maybe firefox and all other such commonly used browsers are supported by this software then there are two versions one is web based version and another one is desktop version you need to go to the mendeley website and then you need to download the website i mean this download the mendeley and it gets installed on your desktop and then uh, you you should also have an online account to be able to use it so that there is there is one web based version and then there is a desktop version both of them can be set to sync and then there are two important things that you need to download along with mendeley one is web importer tool depending on the browser you need to import or you need to install a web importer tool which will be installed onto your browser and it will be it will appear as a mendeley icon this is the icon which will appear on your toolbar and then there is another plugin called ms word plugin if you use microsoft word then you use need to install ms word plugin or if you use uh, some other open source software you may go for uh, plugins for library office also now after you install your ms word plugin this is how your ms word reference tab would look like there is a mendeley icon which is visible this is the mendeley desktop icon you can see here when i click this icon my mendeley desktop opens and i am now able to view my library library means it is composed of lot of papers which i have added to my library and i would be using these papers in my reference section when i whenever i write a paper right for that purpose i am generating my own library now when i open this then i have a option to go to the tools and then install web importer when i click over this then i can get my web importer tool installed and then i can also install ms word plugin but it is it shows uninstalled because i have already got it installed on my ms word so these are the two things that you need to do and uh, you are able to download this mendeley from this website that is mendeley.com go to this mendeley.com and then click download mendeley and i have already downloaded and that is why again my library is uh, visible to me 
the my profile is visible this is the library and this is the library of my web based version of mendeley this is the library and i have populated this library by adding several references now fundamentally what we are doing is we are generating library by adding several papers from different sources then we are saving it we are syn synchronizing this web version with the desktop version and then we will be using these references in our papers and while citing them right these are these are the three steps fundamentally and uh, so first we shall see and we shall learn how to add references to my library because whenever you create a user account your library will be empty completely empty you need to generate or populate this library by adding different papers whenever you do your literature search maybe using scopus or maybe using pubmed then you come across with several papers and you would like to add those papers to your library and i'll show you how to do this see i have got my mendeley web importer installed on my google chrome and that is why that is where i am able to um, view this mendeley icon suppose i am using maybe uh, pubmed and uh, this is the paper that i want to add to my library what i'll do is just i'll just click on this mendeley icon on my web browser now this paper is visible and there are several other papers visible because they may be there maybe in the reference section or maybe somewhere there on the other sides of the web page now i want to add this paper so i click this i check mark this and add pdfs if available and then maybe i'll add to add this to a particular folder i can maybe workshop demo and then i add this paper to that folder add now i have added this paper to my library under specific folder called workshop demo okay and then view library i can see this if this has been really added or not <clears throat> this is my library see this is the recently added paper see now it is visible over here right now i have added a paper similarly when you are maybe using scopus maybe you want to add some papers which are there on scopus maybe search scopus maybe documents you are you are willing to search scopus maybe you are typing ayurveda search now you get the list of papers that contain the term ayurveda in title and abstract now maybe this is the paper that i want to add this is the paper i opened up opened it up and then i click mendeley web importer tool now this paper becomes visible on this box see here this paper has become visible attenuation of adjuvant induced arthritis and so on yes i click this i check mark and then again add this paper to my folder and let us see if this has been added to my library or not see this paper also now appears on my library see this is how i generate or populate my library now we need to also add this these papers to my desktop version of mendeley what i will do is i would just click sync so whenever i sync then those papers that i have just added to my web version will be added to my desktop version as well this paper has now appeared in my library now i have added it right so once i add different papers to my library now i'll be able to use them so this is one way of adding the papers to library 
that is through web importer tool by using web importer tool whenever you surf for different papers maybe through scopus or through pubmed you will be able to add the paper directly to your library just by clicking on web importer tool this is one method then there are several other methods of adding papers you can add the pdfs that are already there on your web desktop you just you can just drag them and drop them over this mendeley desktop and then you can add you can add a folder also you can add the entry manually also suppose you are you 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 want to uh, cite some newspaper newspaper report which was published maybe 10 years ago you have got that paper cutting and now you don't have the uh, web link to that newspaper report then what you would do is add the entry manually go to the type of references that you want to add maybe book or book section case computer program film hearing newspaper article you click newspaper article and then you add the title of the newspaper article add the authors then publication year pages abstract and so on whatever you want to add and then click save so that you can add any new entry manually so you can do manual entry also so once you have generated your library you have populated your library that means you already have whatever references that you would like to add to your paper after populating your library we will now see how to add these references to your paper suppose this is a paper that i am writing i have added some random text and uh, assume that this is a paper that i am writing and now i am willing to add some references so what i will do is keep my cursor at the correct place where i would like to add or insert references then go to references tab now this is the insert citation and now add the references based on you search the references maybe based on the author name or maybe year or maybe journal name for example journal of ayurveda and integrative medicine so this is the paper that i want to add then there is another paper which is authored by maybe singh this is the paper i want to add another paper maybe on physical activity yes so these are the papers that i wanted to add and now i add i click add so now 1 2 3 the references have been added similarly here i want to add maybe a few more references maybe author name through author name i am searching maybe another i am mean another paper i searched through author name maybe through year i am searching another paper maybe another paper by title i am searching and i am adding then click okay so i have added few more references so totally i have added seven references and this is in text referencing and this is in vancouver style now i want to generate the reference section is the reference section and i will click insert bibliography now all these seven papers are automatically added you don't need to type anything virtually you don't need to type anything and with a single click of mouse you are able to add all these references now not only this you have got several other options as well like you want to change the reference style from vancouver you want to convert it into ama now just with the click of mouse you have changed this pattern to ama and see all the papers i mean references also got changed automatically similarly apa if you want to change it to apa which is author year format which uses author year format or parenthetical format see here automatically all the references got converted into author year format and they got rearranged alphabetically 
this this is another difference between the two two styles of referencing in parenthetical system you arrange the references in alphabetical order whereas in um this notional system you arrange the papers in your in a numerical format numerical order so irrespective of what style you want to adhere with simple by a single click of mouse you are able to do all this and you don't need to worry about the mistakes of course there could be mistakes when importing then you can go to the library and then get your entries corrected and then you can add them and save them so this is this is what is mendeley all about thank you